Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. During the next 10 days, of course, we end meteorological spring and we begin meteorological summer. But some parts of Britain have already enjoyed plenty of summer sunshine in particular. Western Scotland has been glorious there over the last few days and weeks. And up and down the country, many places will stay warm over the next 10 days, but it won't always be sunny. It will often be quite humid. That humidity leading to often fairly cloudy skies, mistiness, particularly down the North Sea coast, and the risk of thunderstorms, some severe thunderstorms possible. Now, it's quite remarkable how we started spring with the Siberian winds, and we end spring this Thursday with that kind of summertime warmth and humidity. I mean, you can thank or you can blame the same thing for these fairly unusual weather patterns, the jet stream, or rather the absence of the jet stream during the last few months. Because this is a fairly typical pattern for the jet stream over the next 10 days. And you can see here it comes out of North America and then it splits in two. Effectively what's happening is we've got an area of high pressure here that's blocking the flow. Like a boulder in an actual stream, it then redirects the flow into two parts. Now this part that flows well to the north of the UK, that's keeping the more typical cool changeable weather well away from the UK and Europe. Heat wave conditions across Scandinavia and parts of Scotland. But there's another branch that moves into continental Europe and here we've got high humidity. That humidity combined with this jet stream has led to some very severe thunderstorms in Europe recently and those have been starting to affect southern parts of Britain in particular. And this is a typical pattern over the next 10 days but this is in fact the pattern for next Monday. So I've actually started in the middle. And that's because over the next 10 days, there won't be that much movement in these weather systems. What will happen occasionally is that this high will drift further north and that will allow more thunderstorms to appear across a wider extent of the UK at times. And if we rewind the clock, you can actually see at the start of the forecast, that's exactly what happens. Low pressure from the continent, humidity, pushing in from the south, high pressure just releasing its grip across the north. And that means that for many parts of the country on Thursday, there are more clouds in the sky, especially Scotland and Northern Ireland, a bit more cloud. Still some very warm weather, mid-20s there in the northwest of Scotland, 14 around that North Sea coast will continue to be cool and misty. But further south, that's where the highest humidities will be, and that's where the threat of severe thunderstorms will be. Now, it's across southeastern areas of England that we'll start to see thunderstorms on Thursday, but they'll drift their way westwards. And then the focus is on central parts of England, as well as parts of Wales. These thunderstorms likely to give torrential rain in places, frequent lightning, hail and gusty winds. As is always the case with thunderstorms, they'll be hit and miss. But where they are at their worst, well, we could see flash flooding, some really quite severe weather in a short space of time, two, three inches of rainfall in just a few hours. So weather warning in force could cause serious impacts in places. By Friday, the thunderstorm risk still across parts of Wales, central England, and into the north of England, as well as southern and western Scotland and Northern Ireland. They're slowly drifting their way northwards. Again, hit and miss, but where they occur, some severe storms possible. By Saturday, well, you can see that high pressure is starting to push into the south of Britain, bringing fresher and brighter weather and a reduction in thunderstorms. But this arc of more humid air and low pressure is moving its way northwards. So the focus by Saturday for thunderstorms will be across central parts of Scotland, into the south of Scotland, as well as northern England and northern Ireland, with brighter skies further south, some warm sunshine. And on Sunday, a very slight adjustment there, further thunderstorms in Scotland, but uh, brighter skies for much of England and Wales, and we'll have lost some of that mist around that uh, North Sea coast, so it will perhaps feel a little warmer across eastern parts of England. But it, late Sunday, well, we'll start to see a reversal of fortunes. Thunderstorms returning into the southwest of England whilst we lose them from the north. And then we're back to where we begin the jet stream well to the north of the UK there and much of Europe in this humid air with the risk of thunderstorms greatest over the continent. And this is how we expect things to develop through days seven to 10. Effectively, it's more of the same, high pressure close to the north, bringing plenty more sunny and fine and very warm temperatures to 
uh, the northwest of the UK. Now, around North Sea coast, we will occasionally see mist and low cloud. It will come and go, but it will mean that it will sometimes be cooler down that east coast. Towards the south, meanwhile, some very warm sunshine at times, but high humidity. And we will continue to see that threat of thunderstorms move up from the continent. Occasionally, they'll drift as far north as Scotland and Northern Ireland as well. But the risk always greatest in the south. So that's the trend over the next 10 days. But of course, for more details, you can head to the Met Office website. You can download the app, keep track of any weather warnings, and you can keep track of the rainfall on the rainfall radar. Some serious storms expected over the next few days, so worth keeping track of those. And you can follow all the latest via our social media channels. Bye-bye.